versus what is a click for you this year um, and you figure out your role and just the impact you've had on this team and the fact they know your plays really help this team be, you know, be undefeated in SEC? Uh, I just try to do whatever it is that coach asked me. Um, and my teammates do a great job of, you know, finding me uh, so I can get open shots. And I've been able to, you know, nail a lot of those shots this year. So I know that's helped out um, around the board for everybody, whether it's, you know, us trying to feed the ball into the post and getting it back out so that our guards hitting shots. Um, I just think it, I think uh, this year me hitting shots just adds a lot more to our team. Frank spoke a lot about your kind of putting in the extra effort, getting in the gym. You know, when, when in the past you hadn't been as used to that, what, what changed there? Like, what, what, what's different about your, I don't want to say your work ethic, but you get one, getting in more shots up when, when other guys aren't in there? I think part of it is not so much uh, getting up shots, maybe taking higher quality shots, more game like shots. Um, and I think that's helped me um, when game time comes to the other shots that need to be hit, and whether it's in the clutch or just throughout the game. From the beginning of this year, I had faith in our team. We had our struggles, um, but I feel like, you know, with six freshmen and eight new guys total, that you're going to have some ups and downs, especially in the beginning with everybody trying to figure out their role and, you know, just the system of Frank. Um, I think. I, I definitely had no doubt that we could be a, a great team. How hard is that patience, knowing that this team's going to eventually come together, but you guys are going to have to take some lumps along the way? Is it hard to envision? Is it hard to be patient for? It's hard for any team that, that gets eight new guys. So it's expected. No, they're not against Vanderbilt. Did you take it upon yourself down the stretch? I think you scored, what, nine at the final 11 points? Well, I knew going into a half that I had zero points. and. You know, they were doing a pretty good job of making sure I didn't really touch the ball and get that many shots up. Um, so coming out of half, I just came with a different mindset. I knew that if we were going to win the game, I had to contribute. Hassan, so where's the, where's the confidence and the belief come from from this team, given that eight newcomers and the injuries that you guys have had to keep positions? Where does the belief come from where you guys are here, you know, just competing and winning these conference games? Uh, well, I, I think it begins with the coaches and the, you know all the, the whole staff. You know they they do a good job of you know boosting our morale and helping us to be prepared for each and every game. Um, but just the chemistry amongst us, the players as well. Um, we all have good chemistry with each other, and we all have faith in each other's abilities. So I think that plays a huge factor. Frank Frank spoke last night about you identified a play to run at the end that set up AJ's free throw. You also recognize, I think, Florida's defense late, told the bench. Are those little things that you've, like, how are you doing? Is that just kind of being a senior and getting grasped of things? Or what, what's different about you noticing those things? And, and is that a better relationship with you and Frank when you do that type of stuff? Uh, I feel like I've always had a pretty high IQ of the game. Um, but definitely, you know, getting in the offices, talking to the coaches and watching film and them showing me stuff has helped me. Uh, to better identify whatever defense they throw at us. And uh, as far as like uh, the play call late in the game in Vanderbilt, uh, it was just, it was something we ran a few times in the game and I seen the matchup that AJ had and I, I seen, you know, what could come out of it. And so uh, I'm not sure if Coach seen it the same exact way as I did because, you know, it's a different perspective on the court. Um, but I went up to him and I told him, you know, if we do this, then I know for sure, like, we can execute it and, and get to the line or get a bucket out of it. And he had faith uh, in the play that I called, so we ran. How excited does it make you guys knowing that you guys are able to win a game like you did the other night, but that wasn't the best that you guys can play? Mm -hmm. That just that shows a lot with the um, you know our mentality. Um, a lot of teams when they're down, you know they tend to fold or you know tend to back off, you know. But uh, we just kept, you know, a strong mindset. Before the game started, we knew that was going to be a tough game. Uh, Vandy plays really well, um, and credit to them and their and their arena. And uh, we just knew before the game the message that Bruce told us was, you know, you win the game in the second half. So we came out and executed in the second half. How much of a matchup uh, problem can, can Trey Mount Waters be? Obviously, you guys saw him last year, but you know, for your young guys, even for Trey going through it for the first time, playing him for the first time, how much of a What's the challenge with him? Uh, staying in front of him. He's a really, he's a really great guard. Um, you know, he he has outstanding handles and his IQ for the game is really high as well. Um, 
he, he knows how to get himself involved as long, I mean, along with his teammates. And um, I think he does a really good job of doing that. He's probably, you know, one of the best point guards in the league. So we definitely got to make sure that we, you know, listen to whatever it is that the coach asks of us so that we can defend him.